All right, hello. Uh, today I will be starting Valkyria Trademark Chronicles 4. Um, I did play the original game to this. I'm not quite sure how this fits in. I think it's kind of a, like, um, takes place at the same time. Not entirely sure. Uh, for the most part, I will try and avoid spoilers from the original game, both for people watching and because, honestly, it's been a long time since I've played the original game, and I kind of forget uh, some of those spoilers myself. Anyways, let's kick this off. The day our hometown burned, that was the day we enlisted. At last, we had something to believe in, something worth fighting for. None of us yet knew. We couldn't foresee what this war would cost us. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. East, clear skies, and uh, 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 huh? nap time's over. Come on, Raz. I wasn't napping, just resting my eyes. You gotta relax, man. You are way too freaking tense. Your hands are shaking. So sack up, Commander. It's about time we get ready to roll out. Let's show those imps what's coming to them. Yeah. Shift in the wind. There. Huh? You getting those wind whispers again? Imperials incoming! All right, boys, it's go time! Squad E! Do you read me? Squad E! This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E! The Imperial forces are on the move, heading for your position! Ready to engage. Do not let them break through to the front line. We're counting on you. Roger that. Over. Good luck, Squaddy. They won't advance until they're done shelling the area. We should have time to prepare. Kai, take a group to that southern hill and slow down their left flank. Raz, take two soldiers east and make some noise for me. You got that? Gotcha. Keep up or get left behind. At your command. Hoffin, roll out. Squaddy, ready to engage. Right. Just remember your training. We can do this. Eliminate all Imperial hostiles. Let's stop their advance. Squad E, move out! All set, Raz? Just say the word, boss. I'm locked, loaded, and in freaking invincible Okay. First, we'll see how they respond to some infantry. Squad E, move out! Okay. Looks like everyone's in position. Finally. It's time. I'm their commander. It's up to me to get everyone out alive. Concentrate. 
Remember your training. We can do this. I can do this. I got this! Got enemies here! Damn it, these assholes are in my way. I can't break through this. Why not? You're invincible, right? <sighs> are you really getting tripped up over some common foot soldiers? Why don't you ever stop and think? Oh, shut up. Just hurry and take them out, will ya? Thought you'd never ask. This won't take long. Now advancing. There. Didn't take much. Great job! I knew you had it in you. I got this! Here we go. About time, Claude. 
Yeah, I know. Soldiers, forward! Now's our chance to take the offensive. Hey, Raz, check this out. Moving out. Engaging! There! Let's keep going. have been taken out. Busting out the tanks, huh? This one's all yours, Claude. It's our turn now. Fire up the engine, Miles. Yes, sir. Okay, the Hoffman's moving out. Destroy the enemy tank! Really, you don't say. Okay, moving out. Anyone else want to try? Squatty don't take shit from nobody. Claude knows what I'm... T Whoa, you okay? The flowers. Uh... Oh, yeah. They didn't stand a chance. Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. 
commander still has a heart, same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. Ah, oh, but crying over flowers? Even little girls have bigger balls these days. Maybe. But what matters is that their hearts... All right, I get it. Power of the heart, blah, blah, <laughs> blah. <laughs> Look, just go turn in your report already, will ya? Can't go get sloshed if we're stuck here on standby. Good point. I'll head to the command center. Yeah, you do that. And tell the brass to send us tougher imps to fight next time, yeah? Operation Northern Cross. Sir, First Lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. We're just about to go over our next operation. You're late. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. Oh, Minerva. You're reporting too? That's Lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I've got seniority. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. <laughs> well, let's get started. Minerva, give us a situation report. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. They're steamrolling us. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. This is officially a crisis. If it's that bad already, we won't even be able to sustain a war effort. You're right. And the Empire's only gaining momentum. If this draws out much longer... The Federation's finished. Uh. If we fall, that's it for Europa. Nobody else could stand against them. The Empire would take total control. It'd be a fascist continent ruled with an iron fist. We can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. Which brings us to now. The top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plan. A counterattack that can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. What are the orders? We put all our force into one strike. Break through their defenses, and hit them where they'll hurt most. Soldiers, supplies. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Think bigger. We take this base? and we take their will to fight. But how could any one target mean that much to... Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. Our target is the Imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Let's fight back! Operation Northern Cross. The year was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. 
in the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, a dictatorship known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity, its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater, but the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Forward, soldiers! This is the battle you've been training for! Operation Northern Cross begins now! We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa! Our time has come! Forward, to victory! Countless soldiers fought and died on those fields, struggling to make their ideals a reality. Ordinary people thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, the commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad E, Chapter 1, The Battle of Fort Crest. Good news, Claude. HQ has awarded you with a medal. March the 10th. At long last, we have finally entered Imperial territory. The ferocity of the Federation counterattack caught the Empire off guard. Battle by battle, town by town, we're pushing back to front, with no signs of slowing down. The road to Schwarzgrad is a long one, running at least 1,500 kilometers from friendly territory into the heart of the Empire. But at the end of it lies our target, the capital city. We have a long trek ahead of us, but for now, morale is high. Everyone here believes in this operation. Everyone is praying it'll succeed. <laughs> I guess the Empire's not so tough after all, huh, Commander? Give them one good stomping, and all of a sudden they're running off home. Huh? So are you gonna take a picture of everything we pass? Here, let me have a look at it. Uh, hey, Raz, come on! <laughs> Stop it! Really? You're wasting my film! Wasting? No chance! What you got here is a picture of a future hero! <gasps> you take one too, eh, Kai? Yeah, maybe. Uh-huh. <laughs> there you go. That's <laughs> Damn it, Miles! The hell was that for? Freaking hurt, Quiet. man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? shifted
They brought out the big guns. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Easy. Let's keep moving. A rendezvous point with Squad F should be nearby. <sighs> Flash. Thunder. That's the password. Next time, give us the response before you scare us shitless. Apologies. I didn't mean to frighten you. Follow me. Lieutenant Victor is waiting. All right. Interesting half glasses. Who? Oh, you mean Minerva. And you are... Corporal Crystal Ward, from Squad F. Indeed. I have the honor of answering to Minerva Victor, the strongest and smartest <laughs> officer in the army. <laughs> Normally I'd say that sounds like something you'd be forced to say, but in your case, I don't think so. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> I assume you saw that explosion. Pretty hard to miss. Oh, we saw it all right. They must be packing serious heat. A 21 centimeter howitzer. Currently, our worst nightmare. It must have a range of at least 10 kilometers. We can't advance with that thing around. Just so. Our mission is to capture that cannon. Commander! Just like you captured her heart. Good work leading Squad E so far, Claude. Your slow pace, however, does leave something to be desired. We saw cannon fire, so we've been proceeding with caution. Keep your excuses. As I said before, the success of Operation Northern Cross hinges on our swift advance. Time is of the essence. I know. You try hustling with a huge cannon up your ass. Oh, wait! You already tried and failed. This is how you get demoted. Down, boy. Claude, have you not housebroken your squad? The hell did you say? I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult my soldiers. They're people, not pets. Then I expect them to act like it. I'm not the one wagging my tongue. Soldiers who step out of line are often the first to die. Remember that, Sergeant Raz. Yeah, yeah. Hope you make it out alive too, Lieutenant. <laughs> I can tell this is going to be a beautiful friendship. Um, Commander? Uh, there's a good view from the clearing. Maybe we could brief them there. Claude, come with me. Allow me to explain your next mission. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. It might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort, but they've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. If we get too close, those turrets on the walls will mow us down. I don't see any turrets on the walls, but I'll take your word for it. So when does our own cannon get here? <laughs> you think we have a cannon? That howitzer already destroyed it. We were outranged. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? Too long. The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. Though we do have plenty of infantry en route. doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. Give us the suicide Not mission. Not necessarily. Huh? Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. You're as sharp as ever. Like he says, we can't afford to wait. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than golly and cheese. It's a dangerous mission, I know. But those are your orders. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh Army. You're right. 
We enlisted to crush the Empire. Not to commit suicide. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. Yes, ma'am. This morning, the Empire invaded Galia. They've... invaded? I knew it was only a matter of time. What about our hometown? Is Hoffman okay? All we know is that the battle broke out near the border, at Citadel Girlandio. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Galia's prospects look grim. Oh, damn it! Is there nothing we can do? If Operation Northern Cross goes as planned, the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive. Our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible. Guess we've got no choice then. If our home's in the Empire's sights, then we've got to protect it! Yeah, let's do it for Galia! So for those of you who haven't played the original game, uh, you take... Uh, in the original game, you play as forces from Galia pushing back the Empire uh, as they try and crush this very small country. I won't go into any more details now. As I said, I will try and avoid spoilers and anything like that. Here are your orders. It's just like you took a tank and put camouflage over it because you're too lazy to actually build a new asset. Capture the flag. Doesn't like guns. Hmm, I think you're in the wrong profession. All right. Okay, it's filled. Build that remaining spot. We can, we can only deploy six. And one of those is us, the tank.
kind of surprised they're not talking about lancers versus scouts, etc. So a brief, brief bit. So Claude is your tank commander. If he dies, you lose. Later, you eventually unlock other tanks. Your scouts uh, can move further, but don't have as good offense or health, I believe. Yeah, your shock troopers are your basic infantry. They can't move as far, but they have good health and much better attack. Lancers are specifically designed. Sorry, I just noticed that he likes Aladdin. I find that amusing. <laughs> uh, sorry. So your your lancer, or yes, your lancers are designed to take out enemy tanks uh, or other really strong units. However, I find usually you would tend to want to use your tank for that, and these are really there to sort of make the enemy tank maneuver the way you'd like it or to have people in its blind spot so you can do damage if you can't maneuver your tank there, or if there's a mission where you're vastly outnumbered in terms of tanks. Engineers are there to repair tanks, and we've already seen snipers. They're just designed to headshot enemies. I am usually a fan of snipers. Okay, so let's start with... Lock and load. We want to have all of our uh, leader units, so we get that extra CP. I've got this. Now, each unit has likes and dislikes. So, for example, you can see that Kai likes Roz, and so she'll get a bonus. Actually, will you tell me? You won't tell me. Um, but essentially they get a bonus if they're within a certain proximity, I believe, to the people they like. And similarly, there's dislikes. There's also these other uh, things that people have. They don't seem to quite say what they are. Usually there's a point where you can see what those are. Here I go. Let's rough them up. Okay, so I'm going to take the one sniper, one lancer. Got two normal infantry. And I'll probably take a scout, since this is a capture the flag mission. The scout's usually good at the end to sort of run in and take that flag right at the end. I'll do what I want. Set up. The only thing, yeah. I could even it out and have a mechanic, but considering they haven't introduced the t what mechanics do, I don't think they're really necessary for this. Let's go ahead and start this mission. Now, capture that cannon. Yes, ma'am. You ready? Take down the Imperial camp. Capture their heavy artillery. Squaddy, move out! I expected resistance, but they're tough nuts to crack. What should we do? 
We can't exactly rush in and kick the door down. We'll get routed if we don't have a plan. You're just thinking of this now. First, we need a solid foothold. Let's capture that camp. After that, well, guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Weapons free. Squad E, move out. Pay attention, Claude. Your leadership skills are going to be put to the test. That means getting the most out of your soldiers. Don't forget the basics. Yeah, good point. I'll keep that in mind. So what do we have on this? He's got two light tanks, a scout, their main base. Oh, perfect. And the two Gatling guns. Reserves. Okay. Looks like the Gatlin gun can see several of us right now. So probably what I'm going to do is move my tank in he here with enough room to sort of shield my men to come in through what I believe is a grass area. I'm not quite familiar with the map layout on this yet and hide sort of behind this fountain. Hopefully I can get the Lancer in behind to sort of get some back pressure on this tank. That might be enough to get through this tank. Advancing! There they are! Enemy sighted! I'm really surprised they didn't introduce this sort of before we actually got into combat. Leave it to me! I left myself enough room here. Not even a scratch! Looks like Lancers basically have the firepower of regular gun. Um, worth noting that their ammo is only three for this huge gun. Bora! Keep just trying to hide around here. It's good enough. Okay, moving out. Watch out for counterattack. 
same thing. Yeah, I, almost, I only have a certain number of armor piercing rounds on my tank also. That wind. I see. Fire. Great. No. Let's get this tank up to give people some cover. are very weak. Bleed. Oh yeah, you know, it's like they've got 120 HP. Lancers are pretty big. 265. Standard soldiers 240. So yeah, so engineers are worse than snipers and yeah, your scouts are even pretty good. Oh, I can deploy extra t t units. That takes one command to summon a unit who I'm guessing arrives next turn. Okay, what do I want to do here? I would like to bring my snipe around to hopefully get their mechanic. Don't remember how tall each of these were, but I'm guessing I can't really see over them. I've just got a couple scouts, actually. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna bring my sniper over. Moving out. I don't think there's anyone I can really target. No. Is my command points do carry over, so I think I actually want to do that. Actually, I'll we'll bring. Hey Raz, check this out. We'll do this. I'll bring you over and hide you right here behind it, just in case someone tries to come around from behind, and then I'll end my phase. Probably run pretty far though. And that's exactly why we put him around the corner. Perfect. Okay, so you see our new unit has arrived. Start by, I want to make sure I do summon an engineer. Some 
you. Next, I want to move okay, then. you up. How good's that target? I'm guessing not very. No, not at all. I see you. Attention all squads. Check your equipment. Oh, man, he's tired. Yes, now you tell me about engineers. Oh yes, and they can also resupply ammo. Yeah, and can build things. Looks like they're keep trying to sweep around down here, so I'm gonna move you. Hey Glass, check this out. There they are. Is there anything worth shooting at? So anyone who tries to come around the corner will hopefully get blown to bits. And then what we want to do is we want to get these guys close enough that we can take out this tank. So it's really the big thing stopping me from moving the rest of the units around the corner. Also looking at this, I, I even wonder if it's worth taking this little side encampment, even if it's spawning a lot of units. If we can go around the back here. Don't even necessarily need to take out all these units. Okay. See if I can get. Physical. Thank you, Zarya. Let's stand up and we're gonna run. We're gonna stay behind our tank. Give them all you got. Now, see there, we actually got support from our friendly unit that was nearby. So we actually got in two hits there. And from what I remember, I don't think that uses up their ammo. Does it? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, you only have... One shot left. Oh no, you have two. Okay. But just to even it out, I'm gonna okay, then. use you. <laughs> Boom, perfect. I should have expected as much from you. Just be like, can we get back around the corner? Yes, we can. Perfect. And we'll make sure we're facing this way just in case someone happens to come around. Okay. So what have they got? They've got three scouts, an engineer, this, and those two Gatling turrets are the main issues now. Okay, so I got this! Pull up. I'm a one-man army. <laughs> Make it 
decision, then act on it. He didn't quite make it. I think I have to use an extra movement to get him closer. He went all the way from here there. I think he's got enough to make to this next set of sandbags. As much as I don't like using pain. another piece of CP. <laughs> Calm down! We need suppressive fire now! Die! Your own damn fault! phase there. Hopefully those guys are entrenched enough that the Gatling guns and stuff can't hit them. Once again, I'm surprised they're just introducing this now. Really? Damn it! Ain't lead. Perfect. So the way this basically works is as each side is moving, you can get shots on someone if they're within your sight lines. I guess he wasn't exactly in his sight lines there. Um, but then after a unit fires, if another unit, if that unit doesn't die, they can counterattack. I'm gonna move the tank up because we do want support. I, I think I'm just gonna go directly for this base. It doesn't seem like it's worth it to go for this side base. Okay, moving out. That it? Target destroyed. Very good. Now I, could, I know I could destroy that little bit there, but honestly, I think it's better because it forces the opposing troops to to go through it also. I want to use my armor piercing. My mortar doesn't quite make it. Ten. Oh, but you're probably entrenched is why I can't get a headshot on you. That makes sense. We killed the guy. Came across there. Can I actually hit you? So we're going to attack. So that's the best I've got, right? Yeah, my mortar can't reach you. Fire! Okay, so that's good. Don't actually need you guys anymore. Okay, I'm gonna use. Actually, I don't think I'll need my scout. So I'm gonna use you and I'm gonna push you up this right side to there. And then I'm probably gonna pull my sniper hey, in Raz, where Zyga was. Hope you can make that. Let's see how they like these mortars. Now, it's probably not worth attacking here because if I do, they get a counterattack. If I choose not to attack, they don't get one. Hey, I'm going to continue Check using Zyga and move him up into position. Now 
wonder if the snipers got enough that they can take these guys out. They do, but it would still take four, four shots. I don't have eyes on the engineer, do I? No. It is probably in my best interest to try and take out this guy. I mean, I've got the shot. Take cover behind the rubble and engage the enemy. I think it's worthwhile to pull the scout up. No, look, I have a choice. This doesn't look like there's a shortcut around the side there. Hi, guys. Just stay like this. Position. I think that's enough for this round. So they've got. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, they did nothing. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff at our disposal here. So what I'm gonna do is use the tank, uh, mortar this engineer to remove his defenses, and then take him out either with the tank or probably with Zyga. Advancing. Try and position myself in such a way that Zyga has some sort of cover. Order it up. Right there. Our allies have been taken out. Okay. Move here to sort of guard it off. Let's see how they like these mortars. On the side. Understood. Thank you for telling me about removing cover literally after I just did it. So this, this was the one I had to get. Okay, I misread that. I 
don't actually think the Gatling guns attack us in this round. It looks like there's going to be a second one, or sort of going up in between. But if I can take out the Gatling guns now, that might be useful. Um, but let's start by deploying a second sniper here. Shiny head. Summon Aladdin. Okay, I think I want to move you sort of up in here. So let's let's do I that. I got this. We got cover from the fountain. <laughs> Curse you, camera angle. Okay, I guess that's good enough. Do you want to see if I can get my sniper Moving in out. there? So what can I see right now? I've got eyes on that Gatling gun. You never know where the enemy's lurking. So I'm gonna go up here over to this fountain. It looks like I've got a clean shot on you. Bingo. Ah, and he was, one, They're good. he was one of their leaders, so they just lost a command point. Looks like this was designed to come across this way. Let's do this. No, like I have a choice. Not jump this. No. Take cover behind the rubble and engage the enemy. Please tell me more about your problems. Go around there? No, I can't. Okay, so it actually would have been a good idea for my tank to mow that down while I had the chance. Do I want to do this? No, he's going to get too many counterattacks on me. Um, oh, I wonder. Would a grenade destroy this? Can't tell. Space on the grenade. Okay, well, I guess it was a waste to bring these troops up here. So let's bring Advancing. the tank across. Seriously? <laughs> Apparently, you can hit your own troops. Watch out for counterattacks. Ah, they can. It's very wide. Good to know that we actually do take fire when we come all along this side. So actually, it probably makes sense to sort of come down here, hide behind the tank, and then finish this off. 
definitely take a lot of shots from this guy. Uh, I think I'm going to try and get my sniper up here. Take them now out. Advancing. Just a bit outside. Make a decision, then act on it. Okay, so let's end there. They might just do that. So we now have our second sniper. I'm all over it. Bullseye. Moving out. That I can, in fact, destroy these with my tank. Oh, I cannot. It's very good to know. Can we really defend? Well, right there. Overkill, but totally worth Target it. Target destroyed. Very good. Scouts. Just don't get in my way. Probably my best bet to go. I'm surprised I can't like vault this. I'll rip you apart. So I'll end this movement there. And then immediately Just pick don't him get back in my up. way go in for the kill. This will fetch a good price. That'll do, I guess. And there we Too have well it. Fortified. Even with the camp, we can't advance like this. This is bad, Claude. If this keeps up, they'll mow us down. Come on, let's just go all out and charge him. Better than sitting here and dying, right? No, a frontal assault is way too dangerous. We have to stand back. Easy for you to say. Damn, if only we had artillery. There has to be some way through. Just hang on until I find it. Actually triggers a secondary objective inside of this. Interesting. Okay, great. And it moved all my units up here. But it did heal the Gatlin guns. Okay, and no tanks can come through here. I appreciate the fact that you said put their, their thing or their logo right here. So what can we do? So we know tank can't come through here. What would be our best option is probably to snipe these.
m'lady. That was perfect, because see, we got. We actually got double sniper shots from that because we were adjacent to another sniper. Now so, following dancing. that method, let's take her around and see if we get the same again. I can't remember if they only have one of those. One shot's all I need. Bye! But it's all mine. Perfect. Didn't take much. I see. They're good. Okay, so to get the one, we want to go over and do the same thing on the other side. So we'll start moving you around. Can we really defend this position? <clears throat> Enemies everywhere! What are we supposed to do, damn it? <laughs> Looks like you're in a tight spot, Cinderella. Wait, Cinder, what now? This sure as hell ain't a fairy tale! I don't know who you're helping. We literally just took out one of the Gatlin guns. I'd love to get to the ball at the castle, but I don't even have a pumpkin, let alone a carriage. You have a tank. I think that's better. Seriously? What's gotten into you, Claude? <laughs> well, I'm no godmother, but I can work some magic for you. Magic, huh? We could use a little, if it was real. The heck is that logo? Also, where did you come from? Science officer. Intercept fire sounds interesting. I assume we're supposed to Here use you. Ah, okay, you're a portable mortar. Gotcha. your range. Stay sharp, everyone. So let's put you away. Put you close to the bridge. And there. So it looks like ideally we want to use her to come around. I wish I could see the range on the mortar. Understood. Send there, see what happens. Just 
serious shuffle noises on a board that looks like Clue. Should have angled this guy to the right side so he could hit people coming around this corner. on the bridge. So, I'm gonna start by sniping over this it. first guy. My head is so shiny. <laughs> yes, thank you, One Punch Man. are worth it. Can we really defend this? So leave him there. So anyone who comes running across the bridge should take some huge fire now. In fact, let's bring Understood. up you as well. I'm Raz's top dog. Nice to see the two of you are so competitive. cover, because I want to get the mortar in here as well. Okay. Leave it to me. Wasting another mortar on this. I think I'll see if I can get a sniper now in advancing. place. <laughs> Perfect. Didn't take much. I should have expected as much from you. Right. Perfect. Yes, let's end there. I'm guessing they're going to try and rush across the bridge. Oh, they're bringing in more units. They might Close one. Sniper. Counterattacks, and you're. Oh, we don't get counterattacks. I guess because it wasn't a direct attack on us. It's a grenade. Oh, 
Okay, so let's do this. Call the shot. Perfection. Target destroyed. Very good. Okay. So unfortunately, your protection went down. But you can move up to the next one. So let's start. Understood. You. This is perfect, because those guys can't see me. That sniper still can. I want to take care of them. Ladies and gentlemen, show me what you can do. A little angle there. Here Bring comes Ra's the up also. worth this no 35 unknown is not worth it so we'll leave that here I go yeah. the mortar's actually not doing so hot so I'm gonna retreat the mortar it's your target range actually Oh jeez, is it really just as long as another unit can see? I guess that I can... Okay. So let's get a little bit closer. Can we really defend this position? Chunk. Surprise attack. I guess because they can't see the mortar where I'm firing from. Oh, nice, and it left Target destroyed. It Bar left one of the barriers up, because that was the one thing I didn't like about that location, is it did destroy um, the front barrier. Now that I think about it, that one doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's see if I can bring in a counter sniper. Now advancing. go from here, so I hopefully get the double sniper with Aladdin, because I'm guessing you're two shots. Oh. It's hovering on the edge. Watching your back. Got him. Perfect. Sniper down, and that's another command point lost for Target them. destroyed. Very good. Ah, that does use up ammo, because Aladdin is now out of ammo. But if that's the case, I'm going to bring me. my mechanic... Or, what do you call it? Engineer. Tanks are so awesome! <laughs> so these are their special abilities you see in action. So he is the quote-unquote tank freak, so he gets a bonus every time he gets near a tank. Great, so I gave them ammo. What do we do about a mortar that big?! I do want to take this this turn before they have a chance to spawn anyone new in. Don't talk down to me. You'll have to take 
Just don't get in my way. As far as we know, there's just those two and that one turret remaining. You guys have already gone, you guys have already gone, you've gone, you've gone. Okay, I do want to move these guys up just to here because the scout is not the greatest at defense. Let's start with hey, Zaga. Raz, check this out. Yeah, Raz, we're going first. Check this out. We can get. Be aware of your surroundings. Keep calm and move onward. Oof. <laughs> Falling back. Dang it! I should have healed him while I had the chance. Interesting. Fight. Let's see how they like these mortars. Apparently they didn't need to be crouched. This one's for the ladies. Is not in fact a bullseye. Well, my desire to use snipers did not work out. I've got these two up. I think they're out of range. This uh, Gatling turret. I hope so, because uh, Zyga is actually quite injured. Now, what I'm, I'm going to move Raz up to this one just in case Here it decides to pain. come close that there is some better. Better protection for them. All units, report your location. Okay. So I think that's good for this turn, so we'll end our phase. I'm hoping they'll rush us, just trying to recapture the base. Or they do nothing, which is also perfect. So let's start by trying to snipe them. We're gonna move the snipers up to where Raz is. Call the shot. Get around you. Ha! Not even close. 
close. Perfection. I see. They're good. I'm calling you one shot man, by the way, now. Moving out. You're back. They might be soldiers after all. Okay, so those are all done. So next we want to mortar that Gatling gun, so let's bring the mortar in. Leave it to me. Just not far enough. So let's hop over this. Watch out for enemy amp. Perfect. He did. Not quite. Order a second time. Take this. Kill confirmed. Not bad out there. Okay, so that's done. So next we want to go up and take this point. As far as we know, there's no more enemy units. But do I want to risk it? Oh, you've been fully healed. Great. Don't talk down to me! Artillery. All right, we broke through. Thanks to some unknown girl who randomly joined up in the middle of a combat zone from some place we just captured. Keep advancing. Capture that cannon. Federation bastards. We won't let the blood, sweat, and tears of the Imperial people fall into your hands. Where did this? Where did the scout come from? They literally weren't here before. <sighs> Glory to the motherland! Everyone, get down! Got a C rank. From what I remember, the ranks in this are basically just how quickly you get it done. My soldiers' preferences have changed. How can I view my soldiers? Yeah, I'm guessing it gets unlocked later. Squads, stories, extra stories. Yeah, it's headquarters, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's watch the uh, movies for this. So this is the 21 centimeter howitzer. Was the 21 centimeter howitzer. Or what's left of it, anyway. Miles gets me. So much for surrendering. 
denying us this scrap metal cost them their lives. They chose death before dishonor. Everyone who goes to war knows they might die. But if I was in their shoes, I don't think I could pull the trigger. We're not fighting to die. We're fighting to live. These men died for their country, and I respect that. Still... Yeah. Weapons can be replaced. Lives can't. <sighs> but speaking of weapons... Check out these guns. How about those new guns the reinforcements were carrying? For being portable, it sure packed a wallop. Big things really do come in small packages. It's got state-of-the-art tech with the range of a tank! Well, sounds like our techie guy. Never seen one of these beauties? And I thought you were supposed to be the cream of the crop. Grants every soldier's wish. Awesome, right? You see in this? Isn't that say, who's in charge of the squad? Gotta say. I'm impressed at how quickly they were able to change their tactics on the fly. Uh, well... Hmm? Wait, Raz? What are you doing in the Edinburgh Army? We enlisted together to protect Galia. No way! Lena? Small world, huh? Oh, sorry. I'm going by Kai now. Wait, Kai? Uh, but that's your... Backstory that we'll get to later. Riley. Hmm, I don't really get it, but okay. I'll call you Kai. If I had to guess, it's gonna be something like it's her sister and she enlisted under a false name. Anyway, it's so amazing to see you. What are the odds of seeing old friends in a foreign war zone? Beats me. How'd you end up in joint operations anyway? Since you asked so nicely. <clears throat> I'm Lieutenant Riley Miller. After majoring in Ragnite Engineering, the Army brought me on as an artillery advisor. I've been temporarily transferred from the field artillery team for this joint operation. As long as I'm here, I'll provide the fire support you need to take down the Empire. My knowledge is your power. Knowledge is power, Just what our kids. squad needed. We appreciate the support, Riley. So, where's the commander? I wanted to introduce myself. Uh, about that. It's not just us two in this squad. Huh? You mean Kai's here after all, or...? Riley, I'm the commander of Squad E. Oh, you're pretty young for an officer. But I was impressed out there. My knowledge is your... <sighs> Claude... Wallace... <laughs> Is that all you have to say? <sighs> I can't believe I took orders from this coward. Screw that! Um... well... Chapter 2, The Liberation of Rain. For meritorious action in capturing Fort Crest. You've earned this medal. It's a good start. We just did a suicide mission. No casualties, and it's only a good start. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Connor Doherty. 
I'm writing a book. Uh, a war story. Non-fiction. It's good to meet you. Ryan Ford, mercenary. You pay, I shoot. There's a lot of quick decals. I think we're going to end there at the end of chapter one. Uh, thanks for everyone who turned out. And we'll be back again soon to check out chapter two. Thanks, and see you all again next time. This is Popeye telling you to remember to take care of yourself. Make sure you have some water, get enough sleep. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.